Israel has hit back. No more speculation, no more dissecting options. Benjamin Netanyahu has launched airstrikes on Iran. The news trickled in this morning. Reports of explosions in the skies above Iran, a bit like what Israel reported last week. But this strike appears more limited. It targeted a city in central Iran, a city called Isfahan. It's around 400 kilometers south of the capital. Videos on social media showed explosions in the sky, which usually means one thing. Projectiles being shot down by the air defense. But the specifics are not clear. In public, Israel has not even confirmed this attack, but U.S. officials did confirm it. Apparently, they were informed in advance. Israel is said to have shot missiles and drones at Iran. Did any of them hit? Again, the U.S. says they did. But Iran is downplaying the whole thing. Their state media claims small drones were fired at them, most of which were shot down. You're seeing Isfahan, which is in complete peace. People are living their normal lives. I think two or three hours earlier at midnight, sounds were heard in Isfahan sky. Based on the information we acquired, several small drones were flying in the sky over Isfahan, which were fired at. So Iran says no biggie. But they did take precautions. This morning, major airports in the country were closed. Most flights in the region were also diverted. But later, those restrictions were lifted. Iran now says its airspace is open. So the assumption is the strike was limited more symbolic than deadly. But why Isfahan? It's a strategically important city. You have an airbase with fighter jets, a missile production complex, and key nuclear facilities. In fact, Isfahan is very close to Iran's Natanz nuclear site, just about 100 kilometers. But Israel did not target it. Even the United Nations atomic watchdog has confirmed this. They said the nuclear sites are fine. So what was Israel hoping to achieve? Well, this operation had two main goals. One was to, was to establish deterrence. Iran had launched missiles and drones at Israel, so Israel wanted to say, you can't do that. If you do, we will hit back. That's the logic of deterrence. The second goal was to display Israel's capability. Isfahan is deep inside Iran. It's not some remote border town. So by targeting this city, Israel is sending a message that nowhere in Iran is safe. Which brings us to the reactions. How are Iranians reacting to the strike? Many of them have shaken it off. Some don't even believe that the strike happened. They couldn't handle Gaza, that is close to its borders. Attacking Isfahan, that is ridiculous. If Israel makes the slightest mistake, the reaction from Iran would be more severe in a way that silences Israel and its master, the U.S. forever. What about Israel? This morning, sirens ran across northern Israel. It turned out to be a false alarm, but the danger has not passed. Along with Iran, Israel also struck other targets. Explosions were reported in Syria and Iraq. Both countries host Iranian proxy groups. Plus, the Hezbollah in Lebanon has stepped up attacks. So the next few hours will be crucial. Israel will be keenly watching for a possible response. As for the people, their reaction has been mixed. Some say the attack was necessary. Others fear what could happen next. I think the attack in Iran is a necessary action in our environment, which is much harsher than the jungle in Africa. Uh, animals over there behave much nicer than human in this area. I'm very sad that Israel attacked Iran. And I'm afraid what will happen now? What uh, will be in Israel? Now to the million dollar question, what happens next? Will there be more escalation between the two sides? Well, it seems unlikely at the moment. And there are three reasons why. Number one, Israel's behavior. There's no chest thumping, no grand statements in the media. Israel has not even admitted to the strikes. Usually that means one thing. Netanyahu considers the matter closed. Reason number two, Iran's reaction to the whole thing. Their state media is downplaying the strikes. Most reports don't even mention Israel. If they wanted escalation, we would have seen the opposite. More Israel blaming, more rallying of public opinion. And finally, reason number three, global pressure. U.S. officials say they did not approve Israel's airstrike. Most of the world says it's time to de-escalate. The United States has not been involved in any offensive operations. Uh, what we're focused on, what the G7 is focused on, and again, it's reflected in our statement and in our conversation, is our work to de-escalate uh, tensions, um, to de-escalate 
from any potential conflict. Significant escalation is not in anyone's interest. What we want to see is calm heads prevail across the region. It is absolutely necessary that the region stays stable and that all sides refrain from further action. China opposes any actions that lead to tension and further escalation of the situation. Maybe today's strike will end this conflict. Maybe Iran will not retaliate. But a new normal has been created. One where Israel and Iran can strike each other. Basically, the shadow war is not shadow anymore. It's out in the open and that spells chaos for all of West Asia.